My name is Lindsay Reynolds. I'm an ear, nose, and throat uh, nurse manager for a pretty big ENT group, and I've been there almost 22 years. You know, I had a my first mammogram at 40. It was completely normal. The bottom line is screening mammograms save lives. By finding tumors when they're smaller, we're able to diagnose women at an earlier stage. I followed up the next year just for routine annual mammogram screenings, and that's when um, the radiologist had seen something in the left breast. I knew the next morning that it was positive, and um, everything was upside down. You know, it's nice that we have Sarah Cannon at TriStar Stonecrest and right in our backyard. What's wonderful about the Sarah Cannon Cancer Network is we have TriStar hospitals all across Middle Tennessee that make it very accessible and easy for patients to get world-class quality care in their own backyards. There were lots of resources and that made me feel very comfortable with my decisions. The nurse navigator really came into play with helping facilitate all the appointments, going to the appointments with you, um, taking notes for you so that you and your family member, your husband, your anyone that was with you could focus on, you know, the doctor and all the things that they, all the information they give you, as it's a lot. It's a hard road to go down and you don't want to go down it alone. So to have somebody who's a trained nurse navigator who's trained in a specific subspecialty is a great blessing. After much thought and prayer about it, I went ahead and chose the bilateral mastectomy on the front end, not knowing at the time that it was in my lymph nodes, and it was. Unfortunately, when she went to surgery, there were some microscopic cells found in some of the lymph nodes underneath her arm. Um, as a result of that, she required surgery, but also chemotherapy and radiation therapy, which is where I came into play. It was hard for my kids, I mean, to watch their mom be sick. Stressor on the husband. I mean, my goodness, he was having to do everything and have to pretend that you're okay. You know, it's still be a mom, still be a wife, still be an employee and be a patient. I don't like being a patient. <laughs> I like being the nurse. It was hard. It was really hard. But we got through it. I had the best radiation oncology team at Sarah Cannon at TriStar Stonecrest. It's a really precise breath holding technique where they capture that radiation right just millimeters from your heart and your lung. We do everything in our power to minimize dose to the heart. We use a very specific technique called deep inspiratory breath hold. Patients hold their breath for short durations during their treatment, about 20 to 30 seconds. And what that does is it actually changes where the heart lies in the chest and pulls it away from the overlying breast tissue. And by doing this, we're able to deliver radiation to the areas we need to treat, but minimize radiation that's not necessary along the heart. The ladies at the facility, you know, coached me through it, and it made me feel better knowing that they were protecting my heart and lung. When you walk into TriStar Stonecrest, not only are you walking into a world-class hospital, you're also walking into the opportunities that the entire Sarah Cannon Cancer Institute may offer. And that extends all across the country. We have a singular goal, and that's to improve patients' lives and provide the best high-quality cancer care that we can over a year out from surgery, my doctors have revealed me to be cancer free. We should start annual screening mammograms at 40 years old, but it's important to remember that not every woman is the same. If you have an extensive family history of cancer, or especially if you feel a lump in your breast, make sure you get your mammograms early. It's scary, but guess what? I'm on the other side of it, and it's gonna be okay.